Hello there, my name is Ben and welcome back to Play The Game Central. So today I'm making a video about my current position to play the game. Um, as I mentioned in my last video, I've recently come back to play the game, but um, I've come back with a new set of agendas, which I also mentioned in my Mission Statements 2014 video. And um, my agenda with Play The Game this year has changed a bit because um, what I'm seeing now with YouTube, I think we can all agree, is a distinct lack of giving a shit about the content that you produce and so I think that um, we need to make some some or take some steps to um, to get this community back on its feet because people are just getting away with what I consider murder on YouTube it's just horrendous I think that um, I, I just think it, it, it's gone to shit and so I you know I'm one of the seemingly only people on YouTube who gives a shit about the quality of not only of the of the visuals but of the the, the sound like for instance now I'm in my car I'm in my um, car if I for a long time probably hear the wind is incredibly windy um, but I have a, a, a recording set up in my car now so that I can do record commentaries on the fly in um, 44k WAV file quality, very good quality in stereo as well. So I have two mics built in. So it, it's kind of good for me because finding time for someone like me is very difficult. If you ask Chris or Boop what I'm like, um, it's it's manic. My life. I do a lot of different things and having time to do anything is um, rare, especially sit down you know, in my office and do a commentary. So everything's on the go. But, um, you know, I like commentaries that make you think. I like philosophical inquiry. I like interesting scientific discussions. And, and so much more. I love comedy. I love uh, so many things that I just don't get from other YouTube channels, you know. The comedy that we bring with Stranger Dangers isn't the same as, as other people's comedy. It's just not. It's... It's just better. It really is just better. They may sound arrogant. You may think, oh, I'm just doing this thing. Uh, you know, I don't, I really don't care. This is my opinion. I'm coming back to play the game as the community manager again. I'm taking my, um, my original title to play the game and coming back because, um, too many things I think we're letting slip and I'm not happy with the current, um, process. So, um, there are, there are many changes that will take shape. For instance, every director, um, as of the time this video goes up, will receive a document from me saying things that they will have to cover in the videos, things that they haven't up until now, and saying things that the videos will have to have to have as a minimum. For instance, um, what's for instance? Uh, a decent quality mic is incredibly important. And we're, we're very good at playing the game. Like Every director seems to have a, a, a decent setup. It's not like some other channels. This is a place that we actually give a shit about quality. You'll find that with absolutely every director on the, on Central at least. Um, but I'm coming back as community manager now because we're also reinstating Play The Game Co. Dun, dun, dun. Um, and again, we're gonna do Play The Game Co. as a non-profit. Uh, channel because we don't need profits from it. Um, it's it's negligible. You know, any any kind of channel, um, especially network channel below about 15 million subscribers, it, it you're not going to get much. So I mean, it's um, not enough for for us, you know, as a company. So I don't think that um, it's worth bringing it back as a kind of. Um, uh, as a, a kind of paid, not a subscription paid channel, but, but as a kind of monetary channel. So there'll be no monetization, there'll be nothing. Um, because what's interesting is we had that channel shut down by Activision and then six months later we looked at the, uh, kind of, you look at the back end of it and all of our copyright strikes were lifted and we have monetization available again, which is really weird considering YouTube's actually going to shut down, oh they did shut down the channel, but then they brought it back, which is a bit strange, but um, you know I liked being community manager, I enjoyed the community, I love our community, I always think of us as a family, and so um, you know there are people who drift in and drift out, and some people are fucking useless, some people are really incredible people, and so I think it's about harnessing the kind of community aspect in all of us, and trying to, to, to make something of it, so that's what I'm going to do, that's, that's why I'm coming back, so 
for instance, if you have an issue um, out there in the old community, uh, whether it be um, on YouTube or whether on the forums or one of our social media outlets, if you have a problem with someone, come to me. Just ask me if I can sort something out, I'll help. If you are interested in becoming a Play The Game director, talk to me now. You know, for so long, Chris and Boop have been just shit at this, and so I need to take the reins and actually do something because they have been, up until now, fucking useless. Um, and there are so many people that they're missing who I believe have the kind of X factor in terms of being a Play The Game director, and, and we're missing out on these people, and so I'm not happy about that. So I am stepping in. You will see a change of directors. Um, you know, I think with a channel like Play The Game, I don't mind how many directors we have, as long as they are all of Play The Game standard. And that's just, that's not just quality, that's not just the visuals, because, um, you know, for someone like me, that's very important, but for other people, it's not very important. Um, but as I said in my last video, I don't care about other people, I care about me. So I want to see good quality, um, videos, I want to see good topics, decent inquiry if you're going for the soft or even in zombie storyline, go deep, do your research, you know, ask me questions because I know everything about zombies. There is literally nothing about previous zombies and future zombies that I don't know. So you can ask me anything to, to kind of make videos. Um, I'm always here to help or inspire or confuse if, if needs be. But that's something else that um, we're kind of known for now. We were known for something called hashtag future proofing or FPing or furniture proofing. And um, it was our way of releasing information about the next game surreptitiously and without getting copyright strikes. That was the main thing. Um, you know, I have people inside of Treyarch. I have a lot of people inside of Treyarch. I have a lot of people inside of uh, Infinity Ward. And I have people inside of Sledgehammer and Raven. So, you know, I've got all bases covered. I know exactly what's happening and I'm the guy to come to. But we're not going Future Proof, that was so 2013. We're now doing something called Hashtag Premonitions. So these are our premonitions of what's gonna happen in the future. Um, we, we've done map ideas like Boob did um, Dracula's Castle, and that wasn't particularly um, Hashtag Premonition, but there were things in it that were premonitions, which is what's important because, you know, um, I did a video a long time ago called Afterlife, and there were things in that that weren't future proof but there was a lot of it that really was future proof as well so it's kind of entwining bits that we know about with, with, with bits of speculation as well which is how we're creating um premonitions and that's important to us you know i did one about blood perks i know that was a thing a couple of months ago that's being thrown around Treyarch a lot and um you know i don't know if it's going to happen or not but it's an interesting idea and if it does happen, we're covered. If it, if it doesn't happen, then we've covered it anyway, because it's a good idea. And I hope they do do it eventually. And, um, you know, trying to be honest about this stuff is is good, but at the same time difficult, because there's... Um, you wouldn't believe how many eyes watch play the game from inside of these buildings as well. So it's... <laughs> it's... Um, it's difficult. But um, you'll always know there's something in a premonition video at least one thing but more likely it's an entire map or, or something so it's it's worth looking into um so that's that that's something that we're known for and although i don't like it because a lot of people just kind of flock to play the game just for that information at the same time i feel like it's my obligation and i'm privileged because um we've never had a real issue at all with any of this stuff in fact a lot of this stuff is given to us to give out so it's not because it is kind of vague we don't know what maps talking to which we don't know some things so it is kind of vague but um you know we were the first people to play a lot of these maps originally um so we were very privileged with the last with black ops 2 uh, and the same again with this with the next game which is interesting um although at uh, date i haven't played anything but I, I will let you know as soon as i do and uh, there'll be a little video coming soon maybe on my channel that um you should watch for that has the word continuum in it and I would keep an eye on that because that's important. Um, but that's me, I'm now the community manager. If you want to become a director and play the game, contact me. If you want, if you have any community issues, contact me because I can help, I'm, I assure you I can help. And if I can't help, um, I'll do as much damage as possible. Thanks for watching guys and goodbye.